So I'm starstruck because I didn't expect to be called on. I've been asked to speak at a meeting in Switzerland, which I have spoken at before, but I can't decide if I should do it or not. Have you heard me talk about the two minute rule? Yes, I read your book on it. So if you're tired when you get home, is that gonna kill you in the next two minutes? Yes or no? <laughs> No, it's a, you know, it's a limiting belief based in an irrational fear, both of which are false. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Ask Julie Ryan Show. I'm so delighted you could join us this week. My intention in doing this show is to provide information, insight, and comfort to people all over the world by helping to answer life's unanswerable questions. We got a whole bunch of callers on hold, so it'll be fun to see what their questions are and even more fun to see what Spirit has to say about it. But first, I'm still on a high from the angelic attendant training in Atlanta last weekend. It was just fabulous. It exceeded my best expectations and sounds like it did of a lot of attendees as well. The emails and comments I'm getting are just really heartwarming and, and uh, goodness, I'm just so humbled that so many people came for that. And everybody can do this stuff right out of the chute. I think a lot of them were surprised. I keep telling you that. And then when they come do it, they're like, oh my God, you weren't kidding. Oh yeah, I know. So it was really terrific. We had a bunch of graduates that came in too from all over the country and even Europe. And that was a blast for all of us to be together. And now we got a whole, whole bunch more new graduates. We are working on Chicago, hopefully mid-May. And uh, I will give you more details as we get them put together. But anybody that wants to join us in Chicago, if you're closer to Chicago or or you wanna come join us, come on. Chicago has a big airport too, just like Atlanta. So we'll, we'll keep you posted on all of those happenings as we get them secured. Lastly, today is the first Thursday of the month in my calendar, because I was in Atlanta last Thursday. And so that means that we're gonna have a, a winner of a free session with me. And so you wanna stay tuned to see who that is, see if I call your name. I, I, it's so funny because I'll, I'll talk to people who've won and they'll say, I was driving to work and I heard you call my name and I was screaming in the car by myself, which is hilarious. I can just picture that. So you wanna stay tuned for the announcement of November's winner of a free session. And so Chris, let's just go ahead and go to the phones. Hi, Dana. Hi. How are you, my girl? I'm great. How are you? So nice to talk with you in person. I love your podcast and Thank I read you. your book and uh, I saw you on Next Level Soul. I'm just fascinated by what you do. Oh, I'm honored. Thank you so much. Where are you? Where are you located? I'm in Wisconsin um, in a okay. little city called Cedarburg, which is a lovely little city north of Milwaukee. Okay, terrific. All right. Well, how may I help you? Well, I have for the last five months been dealing with an anal fissure. And oh. last week, Monday, I went to the doctor. I had to be put under because I was not able to tolerate an exam in the office. And I had to be put out and um, it's not healing at all in five okay. months. Um, oh, I was my. told there's no cancer, which was concerning for me, of course. Um, and there was no bowel disease, but it's not healing. So he injected me with um, four shots of Botox. And I'm going back oh, wow. in December for a, a look again. But... I'm concerned. Why? Why am I not healing? Is it? Is it gut related? Is it food? Is you know? Is it stress? What? What has caused this? And it's so I've missed out on a lot over summer activities, walking too uncomfortable. Um, I'm just looking for some answers. Mm hmm. I bet. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get you on my radar and we'll see what's going on with that. Uh, are you bleeding every day? No. Um, it's just painful. it was debilitating. 
Um, I have good days and bad days. Um, so, you know, I just want to know what I need to do to heal. Debilitating because of the pain? Yes. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here comes my laser beam from Sweet Home, Alabama, up to you in Wisconsin. All right. Got you. Shooting energy from your feet up through the top of your head. Okay. I can see it. As I'm facing you, it looks like it's on the right side, on your right side to me. At least that's how I see it. So what I'm watching is I'm watching stem cell energy get injected into it. Imagine if there's a crevice and imagine that it's kind of deep. So it needs to heal from the inside out. And that's why it's taking so long because it's a deep tear is what it looks like to me. So stem cell energy, light amber color gel, sparkles, dippity do that whole, the whole nine yards is filling that crevice, if you will, and then a vortex is spinning above it. And that's going to regenerate the tissue to get that back. And then we're going to, it it doesn't need to be stitched. It doesn't need sutures. It just needs that from the inside out to inside up. Does that make sense? Yeah. How I'm describing that? It, it okay. just seems of the location, that's why it's so hard to heal because what you're doing every day, you know, yeah. it's embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Uh, those things can bleed like a booger too. I mean, they can really be awful. Like you, like I talked to people and they said, I thought I was dying. It, said, it, oh, it can feel like cut glass. Yeah. yeah. Oh, goodness. Yeah. All right. So it's still spinning. So it's still regenerating that tissue. And then what's going to happen is, is when it comes up to the top, it's just going to be tissue over it. So it doesn't need to be sealed. It'll just be tissue over it. So what have the doctors done as I'm watching the healing? Tell me what the doctors have suggested to you. I never heard of Botox. Well, I, there. neither did I when I went there. in on Monday and the nurse said, I see he has Botox for you. And I said, for my face? <laughs> she goes, no, I'll let him explain it. And so apparently what it does, it it's supposed to help promote healing by relaxing that muscle. Wow. Um, the worst thing is if, if it doesn't heal because it is chronic, anything over eight weeks is considered chronic and it's been five and a half months. Um, they talk about cutting the sphincter. I mean, it sounds awful. And, you know, a chance of me being coming in cotton and I'm like, I'm not going there. I, I'm not doing no, it. No, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I wouldn't either. So there's yeah, got to be I other wouldn't. options. What what else can I do to facilitate the healing? I'm doing what he's asking me to do. I And I don't understand why it's not healing, I guess. He said it's it normally doesn't take this long. Yeah. What I just got was brain octane oil, the highly refined coconut oil, which is uh, an MCT oil. And Dana, it, I get it on Amazon. It's bulletproof. It's called Brain Octane Oil. It's C8, the um, number for the medium chain triglycerides is what MCT oil stands for. But I get that that's going to help you heal. I'm not exactly sure what the mechanics are of that, but that just came into my head. So what the heck? It's oil. I put it on my food. It's been the number one thing to help me not eat sugar for the last four and a half years. And it it um, doesn't have any flavor. It doesn't have any color. And I'm getting that that can help you heal. So add, they probably have you on fiber, I would think, right? Yes. And mirror. Lots of, it, I've been uh, doing this for five okay. months. It's, it's, not, wow. it's not a pretty picture. Well, and the and the thing that I'm getting too, and I've heard this before from people who are experts on this, is it's not so much about the fiber, it's about the fat. You want to have lots of good fat, and that helps heal that whole area down there. So I'm getting brain octane oil to do that. How are you otherwise, health wise? Um, well, I have arthritis. You know, I'm okay. I'm in my mid sixties, so you know, a lot of 
you know, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. <laughs> okay. You know, All right. I'm not doing Do the best self-care and I know, I know that because my husband passed away five years ago and it's just lots of things have happened. And so I think self-care is one of my lessons, but I'm not, I've obviously not done a good job at it because I'm not in the best health probably. I think you're doing pretty darn good girl. Cause I think you look beautiful. Oh. When you told me you were in your mid sixties, I was thinking you were in your mid forties. Oh boy. So. No, I have a daughter in my, in, in her mid forties. So, wow. thank you. so you had That's her when you were kind. you had her when you were five, right? Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I so clean that up. If God made it, eat it. If man made it in a factory, do your best to avoid it. I would do the Viome test. V i o m e dot com forward slash Julie Ryan, all one word, or use Julie Ryan at the checkout. That's a really good place to start, Dana. Because let's do the Dana diet and see what's going to be good for you. There may be foods that are healthy and you eat them, but they're just not healthy for you right now based on what your gut biome is. So I would do that. I would also consider working with Dr. Maria in London, Dr. Maria Amasanti. Her website is D-R-A-M-A-S-A-N as in Nancy, T as in Tim, I, A. M A S A N T I dot com, Dr. Amasanti dot com. Okay. And she can help you get your gut healthy, which is going to help help you be healthy all over. And it is going to help you heal. What I was talking about with Betsy earlier in the show, our bodies, when they're fighting stuff that we're eating and causing and it's causing inflammation, it doesn't have the opportunity to heal the stuff it needs to heal. So when we can eat stuff that's healthy for us, it lowers the inflammation, lowers all those other things that you mentioned. And um, and you you will heal from this. I don't get that you're going to need surgery on this. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I, you I are so most looking welcome. forward to speaking with you today. So I, I feel privileged. Thank you. Oh, my honor. Thanks for calling. Feel better. Okay. Thank you. You bet. Hi, Beth. Hi, just Beth. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, so, so I'm starstruck because I did expect to be called on because I feel um, that I have a lot of messages from um, guides and I'm struggling with a decision and I've been putting it out there, but I haven't had a clear answer. So this is the, this is the quest. Um, I've been asked to speak at a meeting in Switzerland, in San Moritz, Switzerland, which I have spoken at before. Um, but they, they can't afford to pay me a uh, honorarium. Um, and the last time I spoke, which would have been my second or third time, they didn't even cover my hotel room, which I didn't know about till I was there. So now they're asking me to come back and I feel a little bit taken advantage of, even though it's, you know, the accommodations are wonderful and the venue is nice and it's kind of an honor to be doing it. I'm just feeling like I'm getting taken advantage of and I'm, but I can't decide if I should do it or not. Okay. Where are you located? I'm outside of uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, in a town called okay. Elm Grove. Okay. All right. When you were telling me about that, Beth, what I got is it is in your best interest to go, ah. even if you have to do your own expenses. Do you get business out of this? Does it benefit you in new clients? Do you get yeah. recognition? Do you get publicity? What? How's it benefit you? Yeah, I, I don't really need more business because I have more than I can handle. It is recognition. It's, um, it, you know, it. I guess that would be the main, if I had to say, what's the most important thing I'm getting out of this? It is recognition. Um and uh, I, I, I'm a nutritionist and I specialize in ketogenic therapy. So interesting that you were talking about MCT oil because I talk about it every day. Um, but it's kind of a small world of people that are experts in this because it's, we're using it for medical conditions, not just weight loss, you know, like, like the mainstream uh, kind of harps on. It's, it's more for people with severe neurological disorders. And so that's what I speak about. But um, 
Yeah, I'm just really struggling because I just feel like it's a lot of work for me to put on this presentation and then, you know, be available to talk to people. And I'm also teaching yoga because I do that as well. And I help out with their food demonstration. So I just feel like I'm giving them all of this time and then um, coming back exhausted. And then, you know, <laughs> what am I getting from this? So, yeah. Well, uh, thank you for validating that on the neurological disorders with the brain octane oil and the MCT oil, the Argal that has the uh, neuropathy in her feet and the mm-hmm. pain, because that came into me for her to do the MCT oil. So yeah. see, how about that? No coincidences. Yeah. Thank you for validating yeah. that. <laughs> why? So let's so let's ask the, sp- the spirits and beyond. Let's ask why it's in Beth's best interest to go to Switzerland and speak at this meeting. I get a a whole bunch of opportunities. There are a whole bunch of opportunities that will present themselves from you doing that. And And the other thing I get is line it up up front. Have you discussed with them? Are you, can you cover any of my expenses? Have you just said, hey, you need to cover my expenses. You need to pay me an honorarium, at least have them cover your expenses. Right. Right. Yeah. Like have an agreement uh, with them. Yeah. It, it, written. Right. Yes. A written agreement. Yes. And, it, mm-hmm. and, and if they can't give you an honorarium, at least have them cover your expenses. Okay. And, and mm-hmm. uh, you know, if you're not going to insist on that, they, they're not going to insist on it. They're not going to offer it perhaps. Right. So, mm-hmm. There may be something there with you saying, hey, I'd love to come and um, what's your honorarium and what's your policy on covering my expenses? Yes. Thank you for that. Do do people that that attend, do they pay a fee to attend? Yes. It's about $1,000 for people to attend for, this is four days. So... Um, you know, they're getting money for it, but they, it, it's interesting because the couple that is running it, it, they're using their retirement, um, what they've saved for the retirement to fund it because it's a passion project for them. They don't have, a, you know, they don't have big sponsors. And uh, I sincerely believe that they have, uh, you know, that this is not a a, a racket. This is truly an honest business that they're trying, it's a nonprofit. So they're trying to get it off the ground. And this is like, this will be their fourth year. So it's pretty, pretty young. Um, But um, I think, yeah, your suggestion is great. I just have to have a frank discussion with them and then then get it in writing as well. Yeah, do that. I've gotten five times bet that it's in your best interest to go. Okay. (laughs) Because opportunities are going to arise. The other thing is, have you heard me talk about the two minute rule? Do you know the two minute yes, rule? Yes, I've read your I've read your book on it. Okay, so use that. You know, I'm gonna be so tired when I get home, and what am I getting out of it? So, if you're tired when you get home, is that gonna kill you in the next two minutes? Yes or no? <laughs> no. It's a you know, it's a limiting belief based in an irrational fear, both of which are false. So what yeah. if you're tired when you get home? You take a nap or you go to bed and then you wake up the next morning and you're you're raring to go again. Yeah. The, the opportunities are not just business. I, I who else are you going to meet? I've met amazing people on planes. Mm-hmm. I've met some of my dearest friends on planes. I met my husband standing behind him in line oh. in the Kansas City airport. <laughs> so you don't know where the opportunities are going to be. They may not just be at the conference. It may be somebody that you meet in the airport or on a plane or in a in a taxi or in the lobby of a hotel. Just be open to the adventure. Yeah. And and in, enjoy the opportunity to explore all of that. And that's what makes life fun. Yeah, that's that's really yummy. That's great. Thank you. You are more well. You are most welcome, and have a wonderful time. When's the conference? When would you be it's going not, over? Not until June. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, so you've got time to get a flight and get a good deal on it, and and all of that. But mm-hmm. I w- I would nail down what the 
honorarium is and at least get them to pay for your expenses. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. You bet. Have fun over there. I will. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Hi, Julie. How you doing? I'm doing okay. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm driving you crazy the last couple of weeks with my questions, but um, <laughs> I appreciate that you taking the time to talk to me. Oh, my honor. Where are you located? I'm located in northeastern Pennsylvania, Scranton, PA. Yeah. Yeah. I know where that is. Your airport, that Wilkes-Barre Scranton Airport, oh my goodness, that runway on that thing, boy, if those planes don't stop, you go flying off the end of a mountain. Is it's it a tiny little, it's a tiny little thing. <laughs> yeah. And and the runway is, looks like it's one of the shortest ones in the country. I've been there several times. I was like, okay, here we go. Hope the brakes work when I've landed. Terrific. Well, you got a question for me? Yes, I just was wishing that you could give me like a little medical scan um, just to refresh your memory. I've had like a two month long uh, sinus infection and I've been really like lethargic and out of breath and breathless. And um, I took a little home iron test and it showed that my iron was low. So mm -hmm. the doctor had sent me for blood work and I'm just like very nervous about the blood work. And I just thought maybe you could just give me it just a CBC he sent me for. And I just thought maybe you could just like give me a little scan to see if I'm OK or what I should do or 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 any any advice you may have. Sure. Are you on some antibiotics or what? what? I, I wasn't. I'm really at the end of it. I'm at the end of the um. I'm at the end of the sinus infection, but since I was still having symptoms of like fatigue and breathlessness and all that, I just bought one of those little iron. There's like, it's a little iron um, test that you can take from home and you just put a little piece of blood. You just put a little blood on a little thing and it looks like a COVID test. Like one line means you're low on blood, low on iron and two lines means you're fine. And mine was just one line. So I called the doctor so he sent me for the CBC and I'm just, I'm just trying to make it through till the results come in. And that's my problem, my anxiety. Well, good, good girl following your intuition on that. Goodness, that you were getting the thought that maybe your iron was low. Wow. Well, I, was, I just kept reading and reading and reading, which is, I'm not sure if that's the best thing to do. <laughs> yeah, Doctor Dr. Google, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's you know, that that can really get us wound up when we're looking up all this stuff online and like I just have to if I see something bad, I close it real quick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. How this works for those of you that are first time listeners or watchers, we are gonna I'm gonna raise my vibrational level. I watch a laser beam come from my body here in Birmingham, Alabama. It's gonna hook into me. Mary up in Scranton, Pennsylvania. And then I'm going to have a hologram of you in my mind's eye, Mary. And it's going to be as if I'm looking at an x-ray or a CT scan or an MRI. And something will be identified and then there'll be some kind of healing that will happen. My analogies are hilarious at times. You know that. And it's honestly just how the information comes into my head. And I want you to try and envision what I'm describing. Those of you that are listening and watching, please do the same. Because what happens when we do that, Mary, is that you have all of us working on you as a group to help you heal and everybody else that comes on. So this is the best deal in woo-woo land. You know, you get a free consult and it's not just me, it's everybody that listens, all the thousands and thousands and thousands of people that are listening either now or in the future, which is what's really cool because time isn't a thing in the spirit world. Time's a human creation. So somebody can listen to you two years from now and they're sending you a healing and your body benefits from it. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, very cool. All right, all right, so here we go. Here comes my laser beam from Sweet Home, Alabama, heading up to you in Pennsylvania. All right, got you, shooting energy from your feet up through the top of your head. You still got snot in your sinuses. Yeah, 
You still got a bunch of boogies up there, girl. All right. Let me, let me, there's this, you know, the little suction thing that they use at the dentist to suck the water when they're irrigating your mouth. There's a little suction tube like that that's sucking all that snot out of your head. It doesn't look infected anymore. So that's good. We've just got residual. You just got some re residual stuff up there. So we're, we're doing a snotectomy on you, Mary. <laughs> all right. So we got that going. Did, did you have kids? Yes. Okay. You remember those little bulb syringe things where you'd stick it up their nose and squeeze it and it'd pull all the boogies out? Oh, my God. Right. I know exactly what you mean. My poor Jonathan. He just hated that. I think all babies do. But this is this is a little bit more gentle here than those things. All right. Got that going. Irrigating. Uh, it doesn't even need antibiotic energy. It's just residual. Are you rinsing your sinuses? Yes, I am. Yes. A couple times like a week. Like with a neti yes. pot? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. A couple times a week? I would do it a couple times a day. Like if I had any, like a reason, like any blood work issues or anything like that. The energy went to your sinuses first. That's your biggest issue. Oh, good. Because the energy always goes where it's most needed first. So it's your sinuses is what, what's the, the biggest issue with you right now. So got that going. The iron's pretty easy to fix if you're low in iron. Yeah, that's, that's not, it's not a big deal. My Mima would say who died at 100 in, in 2002, so she was she was born in 1902. She would say, "You need to eat liver so you don't get iron poor blood." So, yeah, but <laughs> yeah, but chicken liver or beef liver. I I can remember as a kid. She used to say that all the time. She cooked that stuff. Oh, I know. I remember her saying that, and and they they ate it back in the day because it was supposed to help with iron. So, um. Give that, give that a try. I, I, I don't think the blood test thing is any big deal. Okay. I, d I really don't. I think it's your sinuses. On the sinuses, though, Mary, what I would recommend is I would be taking 1,000 milligrams of ester C, get a buffered vitamin C. So 1,000 milligrams of ester C and 50 milligrams of zinc. And I would do that three times a day. How many milligrams of vitamin C? I'm sorry. A thousand. A thousand, okay. And then 50 of zinc. Vitamin C will cure pretty much whatever ails you. And zinc is like rocket booster fuel on top of it. So you want to you wanna do this C and zinc, and that's really going to give you an immune boost. Oh, thank you. That's what I need. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Hope you feel better. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate everything. You're welcome. Okay. Bye, Mary. We do this show every Thursday night, 8 Eastern, 7 Central, 5 Pacific. Just go to AskJulieRyanShow.com. We'll put you right in and you can come on and ask a question. It's always fun to get to, to see who's calling and what your questions are and everything. We post this information the day of the show. On all my social media channels, everything's at Ask Julie Ryan, so it's really easy. And, uh, you know, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all of them. Twitter, I guess it's called X now or something like that. But all of, the, all of those are there. We also send out a newsletter once a week on Thursday mornings, and it's got a question that somebody has submitted online. And then in the body of the email, it'll say, hey, remember, if you got a question, call in tonight, and we'll get you in the queue and then get you on. So there's that. What else? Angelic Attendant Training, we just finished it, but you can still do the Angels and Enlightenment Training, which is self-paced. It's online. And then we have practice groups that are live for that. So that's really important. The practice groups are really the key. So you'll be able to do that in the meantime. And then, as I mentioned, we're, we're going to be having our next one in Chicago. We're going to do two a year 
right now is our plan because the last one went so well and everybody loved it so much. So there's that. If you want to have an hour with me, go to AskJulieRyan.com. Get on my calendar. Doesn't matter when. I'm scheduling out a little bit. Just get on my calendar and then check the reschedule button on your confirmation email and it will show you earlier dates and times as they become available. And we've got lots of people every week that get in quickly. And each time I get to talk to them, they say, wow, you weren't kidding. I say, I know, I promise you, every week people reschedule and you can get in sometimes in a matter of a couple of days. So do that just the key is get on my schedule. We also have urgent appointments available now, several a week. And so if you've got something really urgent, then you can you can get in quickly with that. It costs more, but I've been asked to do that and I have, and a lot of people are us- utilizing them. So remember that as well. Okay, here's our question this week. And it comes from Yael. I had to look up how to pronounce that because she lives in Switzerland. So Yael, I love how you can look that up online. You know, you just type in a word and it tells you how to pronounce it. Very fancy. She says, Dear Julie, I need help deciding if I should put my twin daughters in private school next year or if I should keep them in the public school system. Currently, their grades are not good, and according to the public system, they will go to a low-level middle school and from there to an apprenticeship apprenticeship school. This will prevent them from doing a full graduation from high school. The American private school near us provides more creative opportunities and more subjects and levels from which to choose. Of course, no one guarantees them a graduation there either. The debate is a financial one because it costs a fortune to send my daughters to private school. This would mean we would pull all of our savings into paying for high school and forget about family vacations outside of our home. I don't know what we should do. Also, I must mention, we have an older son who attends the American high school and he's doing amazingly well. That's that really expensive school she's considering. She went on to say, one daughter has strong learning disabilities such as dis dyscalculia, dyscalculia, and dyslexia, and the other has ADHD. Any advice from my deceased mother and you would help. Thank you, Yael. And here's my response. Hi, Yael. I understand your quandary and desire to do the best for all of your children. To get some guidance for you, I asked Spirit, including your deceased mother, If it was in your daughter's best interest to enroll them in the American private school their brother attends, and the answer was an immediate and resounding yes. I mean, it was like, boom, immediate came in when I asked the question. I also got, that means information from spirit downloaded into my head. I got the private American school had a plethora of courses from which your girls could benefit. Not just that they offered a bunch of courses, but that they had courses that your girls would enjoy and they would benefit from them. Lastly, I was told to let you know the most important thing you can do with your girls is to find something they're interested in and give them every opportunity to explore that topic regardless of the schooling or degree involved. Now, keep in mind, I'm sharing the information I received at this moment in time. Future events are fluid and a multitude of variables can arise that could affect an outcome. Hope this spiritual advice helps with your decision. So Yael from Zurich, Switzerland, thanks so much for sending that question in and good luck with making that decision with your daughters and the rest of your family. Hi, Betsy. Hi. Thanks for having me. How are you doing? Good. I'm Grateful that I have this opportunity to talk to you. Oh, oh, my honor. Where are you located? I'm in New Jersey at the beautiful Jersey Shore. Oh, lovely. Yeah. How nice. Yeah. Well, terrific. You got a question for me? I do. I have had chronic um, pain in the tops of my feet for years now and been trying, um, you know, different things, even, you know, pain relievers don't really alleviate it. And I'm wondering if there's, you know, a certain 
thing that I can do to relieve the pain in my feet. When did it start? Just at a, like, years ago, did you injure yourself? Or did you did anything happen that that was the cause of it? And then it's just not gone away? Yeah, I would say what I can attribute it to mostly would have been a couple, few years ago, two or three years ago now, um, I guess three years, um, going up and down stairs a lot was um, helping uh, my mother-in-law move out of her home. And um, then we were, had I had multiple homes that I was doing the same thing with. So just going up and down stairs a lot. Okay. There's All right. Because no, I've already got, go ahead. I, I was just going to say, but you probably already know, I did have um, x-rays and it didn't show, you know, anything broken. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I've already got you on my radar when you started talking, and what I'm seeing is I'm seeing it's a neurological thing in your feet. It's the nerves in your feet on the top of your feet look all inflamed. And okay. it starts, it looks like like where your feet join the bottom of your legs. Is that kind of where the pain starts, or does it go up your legs some? Not up my legs. Um, I would say yes, like right you know, where your leg meets your foot and it starts to bend its stiffness there. And then the worst part though, is like right on top, that like little arch in the top, not underneath, but in the top of my foot. Yeah. 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 I don't know what that bone, those bones are called. There's a bazillion (laughs) bones in the feet, but this, this looks to me like it's neurological. So what we're going to do is we're just going to roto-rooter your neurological system and then we'll, we'll regenerate it with some stem cell energy. So here we go. Imagine that your neurological system and we'll start like, how about if we start at your, let's just do your whole body. I mean, what the heck? Well, I got you on my radar. Let's just do your whole body. So, So imagine that your neurological system, Bets, looks like a network of tubing. And imagine that that tubing looks like aquarium tubing, that clear aquarium tubing. And sometimes aquarium tubing gets gunk in it. You know, it gets on eating fish flakes and fish poop and whatever, mineral deposits from the water, whatever in it. And so you have to irrigate it or you have to change out the tubing so the oxygen can get in there for the fish. That's what the neurological system and also the vascular system look like to me. It looks like a network of tubing. Think of the aquarium tubing. And then there gets this gunk inside of it and it's dead cells and it's other debris that gets inside of the tubing that makes our nerve, you know, our nerves throughout our whole body. So imagine there are a bunch of little corkscrews that are spinning through that network of tubes that is your neurological system. Obviously, this is an analogy. So they're spinning and what they're doing is they're grinding up or morselating any kind of debris in there. Have you ever had a wire that you're trying to shoot electricity through it and it has a short, there's some kind of impedance to Mm -hmm. the electricity being able to get through? That's what I'm seeing in your feet. Looks to me like your right foot's worse than your left. The energy went to your right foot first. Okay. And so I don't know if it's more painful or or you notice a difference, but that's just where the energy went first. And then I checked out the left foot. You got a lot of it going on there too. So imagine there's all these little tributaries of nerves that are coming in your feet and they're all getting cleared out with this corkscrew action. And then what we're doing is we're going to irrigate all that chopped up debris that was in there. And that's really fun to watch because the irrigation fluid comes flying out the end of your toes. So imagine your feet are sprinklers and the water comes out the end of your toes. I'm going to invent sprinkler feet someday because I see it so much. I see it pretty much every day that I'm working anyways. So got that going. And then I'm putting stem cell energy into your neurological system. Light amber colored gel, Sparkles reminds me of Dippity Doo hair gel in the 60s and 70s. Have you ever heard of that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I know. I know. I have people send me pictures of Dippity Doo all the time. But I haven't just heard tell that in a long time. <laughs> I know. 
When I first heard it from Spirit, I was like, I haven't thought of that stuff in 50 years. Nevertheless, here we go. But you know what it looks like. So there's a vortex above your head, beds, underneath your feet, on either side, front and behind, all spinning concurrently. This is going to regenerate your neurological system and do that. Tell me about uh, what you like to eat. Mm. I know it doesn't well, seem related, but it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I do know that um, bread and cheese can be inflammatory. So I try yeah. and reduce that, but I also love it. So sometimes I do have it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How about sugar and other refined stuff? Are you um, any of that? I, ha I have some of it, but I am probably... But for the most part, I try and, you know, avoid that too. But it does, you know, happen okay. occasionally. Okay. So you're more of a bread and cheese girl than a sugar girl? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Even though we just had Halloween, I'm sure everybody's well, got lots you. more sugar. <laughs> yeah, really. Yes. So a little yeah. more lately, but, you know, on yeah. a regular basis, not so much. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even let it in my house because I don't want to eat it. So I just give out dollar bills. I don't get oh. very many trick-or-treaters obviously. But um, yeah, the only people that don't like the dollar bills are little kids. The really little ones. Say, I'll like, come. <laughs> I know the really little ones, like the two and three year olds are saying, I want a candy bar or something. So, okay, go next door. So that's what I'm watching happen. I'm getting that the inflammation is coming from your gut. So oh. if you have the opportunity, I would do the Viome test. V as in Victor, I O M as in Mary E dot com. Okay. At, check, at checkout, use Julie Ryan, all one word, Julie Ryan, and that'll get you a big discount, like $110 off or something. I think it's 60 some percent off. It's about a hundred bucks with the discount if you use that code. And so I would recommend that you do that. That's going to tell you the status of your gut. It's going to tell you based on that, here are your superfoods. Here are the foods for you to avoid. Here's everything else. Eat this a lot, eat this a little. And so we can do, some, we can do the Betsy diet and that's going to help a lot. The other thing okay. I'm getting for you is, is movement. Okay. If you can, do you walk? Do you walk? Do you do anything to, you know, get some movement? Or are you sitting at a desk all day, or what? I don't sit at a desk all day. Um, I am on on the move, and um, I find that when I walk too much, it does feel more inflamed. I've started to within the last couple of weeks um, do a stationary bike which is Good. You know, a little less um, pressure on my feet right? So right. than walking. But right. um, I'll walk, you know, not too, too far, but I'll walk um, like around the block or probably like a mile at the most um, mm -hmm. outside a few times a week. Great. Great. Keep that up because motion is lotion and that's going to help those nerves heal. So okay. I hope that helps. I hope so too. It makes total sense. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it really wow. does. And it kind of validates that I got to, you know, get the, the bread and cheese out a little more. Yeah. Yeah. I think that'll help too. It's just going to, it's, it gives your body the opportunity to heal the things that need to be healed when it's not trying to fix stuff that we're eating. I know yeah. when I gave up sugar four and a half years ago, Bets, my body healed stuff I didn't even know needed to be healed. Mm. And it, it was interesting. I had mm -hmm. a scar that was kind of pink and raised. And when I stopped the sugar within three months, it went to regular skin color. And now you can't even see there was uh -huh. ever a, an incision. Yeah. And so I'm it's pretty been pretty interesting. It's interesting that you say three months because with the food, I'm probably not giving it long enough to, you know, mm -hmm. like I might go a few weeks or, you know, or even just two weeks and, you know, or even a week and, you know, hope that I see results and I don't. So. Yeah. Yeah. So I hope all that helps. I do Thanks too. for Thank calling. Thank you so much. I heard your You're podcast welcome. with Julie Riesler and I was, I got your book right away. So I've been enjoying oh. um, listening to your wisdom. So thank you. Wonderful. You're welcome. She's a doll. Yeah. Yeah. She's storyline. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Betsy. Thank, thank you. 
Hi, Ashley. Hello. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Thank you for having me. Terrific. Well, where are you? Where are you located? I'm in the Midlands of South Carolina. Oh, okay. What's the Midlands of South Carolina? What cities well, are there? We um we go by the Low Country, the Midlands, or oh, the yeah, Pedy, yeah, yeah. or the the Piedmont. But I'm in Columbia, South Carolina, basically. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I've heard of the Lowlands, and uh, Columbia is where the university is, right? Right. The That's Gamecocks. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Terrific. Well, you got a question for me? Um. Yeah. I've I've struggled with my health for most of my life, but particularly from about 18 years till I'm 38 now. Okay. So, so I have a five-year-old with autism and a three-year-old. So my, I have to put myself in the back burner for a while, but at the same time, I'm trying to do what I can to help myself. Um, mm -hmm. So I got diagnosed with lupus about, uh, eight, seven year, years ago or something like that. And it's been a big help actually like finding a real answer. It took so long. And then I have AFib and um, atrial fibrillation and another heart issue. So I got a lot of things going on. And so. All right. Let me get you on my radar. That's a lot you got going <laughs> it is, on. God so bless much. you. <laughs> yeah. Holy mackerel, girl. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right. So you're making me tired just listening to everything that you got to deal with. I'm thinking, God, God bless you. Wow, wow. All right, here we go. Here comes my laser beam heading east from Sweet Home, Alabama to South Carolina. All right, got you shooting energy. You are like one big ball of inflammation. I mean, you've seen pictures of the sun with rays coming out of it around the edges. You are just one big red ball with rays coming out of it. So let's calm this down. Anti-inflammatory energy looks blue to me, Ashley, and it's a royal blue color, like the color that you'd see in those refreezable ice packs that you get at the doctor's office or the drugstore. So I'm getting that inflammation calmed down. Where's the mold exposure? You're being exposed to mold. Really? Where's the mold? Yeah. Do you have mold, a mold issue in your house? Have I you had any water it, leaks? Or? There's a possibility that I've questioned that before in my home. Um, I've never seen, well, I've only ever seen one vent and it was above my um, kitchen. So I thought that above my kitchen stove, we don't have a vent. We have, um, it's not a oven vent. It's a vent that ventilates your home, right? And I've seen mold on it before. And I kind of assumed, you know, that the way that grease sticks to things in your kitchen because it just floats up in the air. And I thought that's what was maybe happening there. But I would get your I would get your ducks clean, have some have a company come in and clean all your ducks. First of all, your duct works. Where are where's your HVAC system? Is it in your bay? Do you have a basement? No, um, it's um, just on the side of the house. Okay, but but where's the internal unit oh, that blows the air? Just right in the, it's not a very large house, so near the kitchen. Okay, all right. I would get that cleaned as well. Got all the coils and all that stuff cleaned because oh, there's probably attic, mold. That part, yes. And it's, it's in the attic, not the basement. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I would get that cleaned. I would get your ducts clean. Someone you has suggested CPS? mold to me before, but. Yeah, it's yeah. mold. And all autoimmune is all coming from the gut. 100% of it, always. Always, always, always. And autoimmune for a lot of diagnoses just means that the doctors don't know. They just don't know. Mm -hmm. So they kind of group everything into autoimmune. If you go to moldy movie, M O L D Y movie.com, go to moldy movie.com and watch it, you will find similar symptoms with people that had mold exposure and they had this plethora of diagnoses and it just came down to mold. Do you have stomach issues as well? 
like gut issues? Um, I have everything. <laughs> it's definitely okay. All from right, like all right. Joint it goes I, from my whole entire body yeah. to my scalp. That's why my hair is short now. I mean, it goes everywhere. But I haven't lived in this house that entire time. I have lived in other houses, but here's where I am okay. now. And I did have yeah. the issues before, but the mold for sure is something that we did once question and just thought, oh, no, I don't think we looked into it kind of not de- deeply and thought, mm, no, I think it's yeah. okay. But, well, and the thing about it is that there are about 30 percent, there is about 30 percent of the population where, and I'm one of them, you are too, where we're super sensitive to mold. So we can live in a moldy environment and we're, it makes us really sick, but the rest of our family isn't that sick. I mean, they may but have a cold here my, and there. My kids something. did get sick for like a while and I started to wonder, is this mold related? I even thought about that yeah. at some point. That's yeah. when yeah. I started to wonder about it. but. Um, I didn't see it, obviously. And when I kind of barely examined it, you know, I mean, kind of looked into it, it didn't seem like anything. So yeah, um, I'll definitely yeah. check into that. Go to go to moldymovie.com, watch that. And and then I would uh, I would do a consult with Dr. Amasanti. Uh, you know, I talk about her a lot. She's really that good. She can help you detox. You're going to need to get it remediated in your house, either you guys do it or have somebody come in. But the first thing I would do is have an HVAC company come in and look at your system, your air conditioning, your furnace, and then I would get a duct cleaning company out there to see what they can do along those lines. And South Carolina is moist. I mean, it's humid there. So Mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's not a surprise that you've got some stuff going on there. I could see that that would make me very sensitive. I mean, I was around, I feel like I'm getting more and more sensitive as I get older. So like right. if I'm exposed to bleach at all, um, yeah, I just, my voice goes, I was exposed yeah. to a cigar outside. So anyway, thank you. I'll check well, in. It's because your, your bucket's overflowing now. And so any extra stimulant just, you know, starts like this, this flood of, immune response that's going. It doesn't take much in order for it to just be exacerbated and and really be an issue. So I would highly recommend that you do do those things and start checking out the mold stuff and see what you can do to remediate that. And then I would I would work with Dr. Amasanti. You want to work when you have that much inflammation and you got that much stuff going on. I would suggest that you always work with a doctor because you want to detox under a doctor's care. So many times people will do detoxing on their own, Ashley, and what happens is it's too much. Their body can't process all those toxins at once. So it's like you take two steps forward and then you take four steps back. So you want to you wanna work with a doctor on that. And uh, I, she's my favorite in the whole world. And that's why I recommend her so much. I don't make any money off of it. I just I just know she's that good and helps that many people. So I hope that helps you and I hope you feel better. That, I mean, I I didn't mention anything about that <laughs> through all, all of the other issues. And I hadn't even yeah. thought of that in, in, for a long time. So thank you. Yeah, you are most welcome. Hope, hope you feel better. Thank you. You're welcome. All righty, let's do who the winner is for November, for the November drawing. How you get into this is you just leave a review wherever you listen to the show, whether it be on YouTube or or on any of the podcast channels. Just leave a review. Tell us what you like about the show. Tell us what you think, how we can make it better. We just love to hear from you. So this one comes from YouTube. This is a YouTube review. And this comes from Vicki, let me get my glasses on so I can read this, Vicki Vaughn, Vicki Vaughn 1034. And she says, I just love your interview shows. You get the most interesting guests. I always hear at least one piece of information that applies to something I'm dealing with at that time. This show was very insightful. Thank you for interviewing. 
So she's talking about a particular show. I didn't make a note of which one it was. But a few months ago, we started doing two shows a week, releasing two shows a week. So the call-in show, Thursday night, that's that's the flagship. That's the one that we always do. And then I started interviewing people. So we released that Tuesday morning. We released the call-in show Friday morning. And at the training, I was talking to several participants and I said, how do you guys like the interview shows? What do you think? Do you have a preference? And they said, no, we really like how you have a call-in show and then you have an interview show. And then you have a call-in show and an interview show because it's interesting listening to other people in the space to find out how they do things and and what we can learn from them to better our lives. So it's fun for me to get to meet all these people and talk with them and interview them. So I hope you're enjoying it too. Leave a message, leave a review anywhere you listen to the show, and then we choose a winner once a month, and you'll get an hour with me valued at $250. So it it's a ball. We have a, we have a great time when we're doing that. We can talk about anything you want. Because, you know, a buffet of psychicness. We can talk to your dead grandma or your dead cat or talk to uh, your spirit guides, anybody that you want to talk to. We can do medical scans. We can do past life stuff. I mean, we can tell how close to death somebody is. It's, it's, we usually do a plethora of things when I have you for an hour and people come on with a checklist. I'll say, okay, we'll get to, we'll get to as much as we can. We usually get it all covered too. So it works out good. All righty. Let's go back to the phones. Hi, Deb. Hey, how are you? I'm terrific. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. Great. Please tell everybody where you're located. Uh, I'm in L.A. We spoke last LA. week. Yeah. Tell us, tell everybody what's going on and how I may help you. Uh, so I had a big surgery last week and you did a scan beforehand. And it turned out it was a tumor, and they got tell it everybody out. tell everybody what what was going on, it was so they know abdomen. what we're talking about. Okay, um, and it's about four inches long, and it was a okay. pretty intense uh, surgery. Went on for four okay. hours, and uh, I just wanted to if you can just do a quick scan and see how everything's healing. Yeah, how do you feel? Uh, you know, the first two days was pretty intense. Just my mm -hmm. organs coming back online. Um, does the anesthetic put everything to sleep? So that was kind of interesting. Um, yeah. But now, you know, I'm feeling okay. I'm getting better each day. You know, I'm doing yoga. I'm starting to walk. Um, but yeah, I you're doing to... yoga a week post stop. Good for yeah. you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So. Um, All right. I'm starting to walk. So, yeah, I just wanted to see if there's anything else I could be doing, how everything's looking. Okay. All right. Yeah. The thing that's coming in before I even get you on my radar, Deb, is bone broth. Okay. Do bone broth, organic okay. bone broth. I, I get three times a day, and it's okay. going to help you heal. Okay. So, uh, it's, it's to me, bone broth doesn't taste that great. It's all no. right. But it's That's not, okay. it's just like, eh, but yeah. it's, um, you know, you can suffer through it. Just, just drink like yeah. a coffee cup full yeah. of it and, and okay. be sure it's organic and, um, you know, do that. All right, here we go. Here comes my laser beam from Sweet Home, Alabama, heading to you in LA. Got you shooting energy from your feet up through the top of your head. The first thing I'm doing is forcing the anesthesia out of the top of your head. There are a lot yeah. of heavy metals in anesthesia. So yeah. imagine there are two big U-shaped magnets on either side of you. And imagine they're going up and down your body and they're pulling out metallic particulates. And then they turn a quarter of a turn, go up and down your body, pull out the metallic particulates so they get all the way around. All right, they're popped off. Now irrigating your body to get any kind of dust left over. So I close my eyes momentarily because it helps me focus mm -hmm. on what I'm seeing inside your body. Okay, got that. Let me see how your let me see how your innards look. That <laughs> <laughs> sounds like Ma Ma Parker. Let me see how your innards look, girl. Okay. In there. All right. So it's not it's benign, right? The tumor was benign. Uh they're testing it right now. 
Okay. I got it was benign before I get it. It's benign now. Yeah. So I think you're good with that. Yeah. Uh, all right. I talked to a surgeon one time and I said, what does it look like when you're eyeballing a tumor, you know, inside the body when you're removing it? And I said, what's it look like when it's malignant? And he said that the tumors that are not malignant seem to be smoother. And the ones that are malignant, he said, think of cauliflower, like a head of cauliflower. Yeah. This was That's smooth. what they look like. Yeah, yeah, I know. That. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, when I saw it before, I think I told yeah. you it wasn't yeah. malignant yeah. Yeah. when I saw it. I mean, that's what I'm getting, right. not only from seeing it, but then I'll also ask the question, is this malignant? And I got to know. I'm still getting a no. Okay, so, um, yeah. So we got that going. You're just really good at growing stuff. I mean, that's that's what that was all about. You're just right. really good at growing stuff. You're your body wants to birth something. It doesn't have to be a baby. It can be right. like a new, a new adventure, a new business, a new okay. love life, a new, whatever. Yeah. 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 So there's that. Okay. All right. So it's healing great. It's working on the stem cell energy in there. I, I already worked on you before. So most of the yeah. Most of the healing energy is already in place. Just adding yeah. a little bit more stem cell energy on your incision to get yeah. that going. The, the interesting thing about these healing stem, and I may have mentioned this to you when we did our consult, when we had an hour together, is the healing has already happened on the energetic level, and then it just needs to integrate into your body. Right. So... Oftentimes, we need some kind of complementary care, like you needed surgery to get right. that yeah. tumor out of there for yeah. the physical side, but it had already happened on the energetic side, which yeah. is part of the reason why you're doing so well. Right. Yeah. Because you, I mean, nobody would ever know if they looked at you. You look amazing. No, I, yeah, no, I, yeah, my friends were like, what? <laughs> How did you do yeah. surgery? Yeah. Yeah, 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 because the healing's already happened. And yeah. remember, time doesn't exist in the spirit world. Time's a human creation. So we just need to catch up with your body to the healing that's already happened. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When my husband had his knees done his after the first one, and then especially after the second one, his surgeon said to me, can I just send you home with all my patients? I, I just can't believe how well and how fast he's healed. Right. And I said, it's the, it's the energy. You know, it's the yeah. energy healing that complements Western medicine and Eastern medicine as we know it. It's part of the healing equation right. in my book. I think, yeah. I think we need all of it. And it's yeah. just an adjunct to the medical modal modalities and methodologies that we we know of. Okay. I, I think you look amazingly good. Great. Thank you so much. That's great. You are most welcome. welcome. The only the only suggestion I'm getting is add bone broth three times a day. Okay. I'll and do it's that. just gonna speed up the healing. I think That's probably easy. because of the collagen in it. Yeah. Is gonna help okay. all that tissue heal. That, my guess is that's why that came in. Cool. So, so good much. job, girl. Great to see good you. Good job. Take okay, care. you Thank too. Thank you. Bye. All righty, everybody. That's it for this week. What a fun bunch of questions. And, and I appreciate everybody taking the time to call in. So remember, AskJulieRyanShow.com every Thursday night at uh, 8 Eastern, 7 Central, and 5 Pacific. Sending you lots of love from Sweet Home, Alabama. Mwah! Have a great weekend. See you next week. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to follow Julie on Instagram and YouTube at Ask Julie Ryan. And like her on Facebook at Ask Julie Ryan. To schedule an appointment or submit a question, please visit AskJulieRyan.com. This show is for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be medical, psychological, financial, or legal advice. Please contact a licensed professional. The Ask Julie Ryan Show, Julie Ryan and all parties involved in producing, recording, and distributing it assume no responsibility for listeners' actions based on any information heard on this or any Ask Julie Ryan shows or podcasts.